I am currently trying to share this, so apologies. <clears throat> Put my phone on silent. Hello, one person that's here. How you doing? <coughs> Excuse me. Now. Hello, uh, please excuse me. I'm just currently trying to share this stream because I'm a boomer and I'm not very good at doing it all at the one time. So here we are. So yeah. Uh, hope you're all well, by the way. How are you all doing? Please tell me. I'm going to read your comments on my computer because I'm on my phone, as always, phone, computer. So give me a wee second and I will read them. I will read right now. Uh, yeah, I think that's right. I'm not very good at this. Can you all tell? Is the veil slipping? Is it obvious now? Um, wait, okay, two seconds. Um, do, 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 do. Smashing. Okay, here we are. We're, we're, we're all fucking ready now because I'm a nugget. Right. Um, did someone say, oh, 16 watching? I honestly thought seen the words like seen 16 and thought there's someone telling me that I've just turned 16. Great. Um, is this okay? I, think, I feel like it's a bit squint. A bit squint. Um, so, how are you? Are you okay? Is everything going well? Are you having a nice start of the weekend? Um, thank you to everyone so far who's wished me a happy birthday. My birthday is on Monday, um, so it's not a birthday today, but I'm a female, which means we don't just have one day, <laughs> we have a weekend. So yeah, it's like my birthday weekend sort of thing. So yeah, um, thanks very much Dig, thanks very much. So we have a ton of boxes guys, uh, I'll be honest with you, I also have Excuse me, watch. We also have a Japan crate box, right? But I've just had my dinner, I'm very full, and there is not a chance in hell that I'm gonna be able to eat any disgusting candy or crisps. So that's completely out, out of the uh, equation. Um, I need to clean my glasses, because again, professional, you know what I'm saying? Fully prepared for this stream, so I was. Um, you're probably all looking like, oh my god, her eyes aren't as big as they were. I thought they were. <laughs> I mean, they're still pretty big, but the glasses make them look like double the size. So, we're definitely, the star of the show today is going to be the Kawaii box because we've not had one of them for such a long time. Hello, Robert White. By the way, see the scratch card that I got you that day? I won a tenner. And then uh, I won a 10 on that scratch card, then I traded it in for another 7 of those and then I won, no, I won a 10 then out of my 10 I won 7 and then out of my 7 I won nothing. Gambling's for mugs, <laughs> but I'll always waste a pound. Um, you don't owe me anything for a scratch card but I want to know if you won anything, because I won a 10 yeah, anyway, so we're going to open this because I've not had one of these for forever and uh, I kind of miss them, you know. These are the OG guys, so I want to open it. But we also have a Yumi Twins box and we've got, is it Yumi or Yum? I don't know. And we've got one of those big boys, um, Doki Doki box, and it says Valentine stuff on it. So. I'm quite excited about this, the prospect of all this, these boxes being filled with like really nice, 
kawaii stuff. You know what I mean? Like really, obviously they're all kawaii, but like really nice like love hearty, pink, gooey stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, Beef1982, thank you so much for the two pounds. I appreciate that. Or two dollars, sorry. Um, well, I'm going to, if you know, I'm going to go back a wee bit and see if I've missed any Steg Boomer shoot. I am a boomer. Am I a boomer? I'm 32? I'm turning 32. So I'm 31. Is that a boomer? I think I'm on the cusp. Don't know. Crystal, a brew. Happy birthday. I hope you have a great day. Um, I think it's pronounced Yumi. I was saying Yumi, but then uh, either way, it's a box full of stuff we're opening. A millennial. I'm a millennial. A millennial. So there we are. I'm one of those. Whatever. For for as much as it affects my life, you know. Right. Let's do this because I am impatient and. It's my birthday, which means I get to open all three because, I mean, I'm doing myself out of favour there because if I open all three, then that means, Kevin Collins, you need to stop this. You do too much. <laughs> I don't mean to be this guy to give you a row in public, but you do too much. Send me birthday cards and all that. You're also a patron. Stop. <laughs> stop giving me things. You're too nice. But thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Um... Yeah, so if I open all three, then it means that I don't open, I realise there's a big A on that, that I don't open um, any on video, which means I have to bake more. But you guys seem to like the baking videos more anyway, so I'll just open all three on stream. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, sleeves are rolled up <laughs> and we're going to, um, Sean Smith, thank you very much. We're going to open this guy, Stoneware. We're going to open this. And you know what's terrible? Right now, I'm like doing this and having the time of my life while Marcus is upstairs um, unpacking boxes and, and building couches and cabinets and stuff. And I'm just like, have fun. See you later. Goodbye. I really should be helping him, you know. Um, I, I do have scissors, but they're like wheat crap scissors. I feel like today's the day that I could be doing me a big knife, you know? Oh! Oh! Um, that oh was because I had comments and stuff. Um, your boy, more cute boxes. Thanks, Sam Alden. Your dad, £5. I'm visiting Glasgow next month. I'm from the deep south. What are some tips? P.S. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. Um, tips for like what? Like for food or things to do? Um, I don't know. Really? Uh, Glasgow? Hmm. I don't know. I just like Glasgow, but I, I guess shopping, really? Um, I don't really know. I guess it depends on what you like. There is a ton of stuff to like shop at. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of shops. Um, but it really depends on what you're into. Um, if anyone in this stream is from Glasgow or Scotland and can recommend anything to do in Glasgow, please comment and let your dad know. <laughs> Not your actual dad, but this gentleman called your dad. Uh, please let him know. Um, also, your dad, if you are on Twitter, please message me on Twitter and uh, I'll try and find some nice things for you to do because um, I feel like I wasn't very useful there. But I'm also not very good at being on the on the ball with good answers but I'll think of some good answers for you and I'll get back to you oh oh no I need to back uh, Robert White get yourself five pound scratch card on me happy birthday I will buy a five pound scratch card with that I will and then I'll take photos of it and I'll put it on Twitter and hopefully I'll win right I finally got this open also thank you very much <laughs> I forgot to say thank you thank you very much Robert White it's very kind of you I absolutely love buying scratch cards, but I don't have an issue with it, so I swear to God. Um, P.S. Can anyone understand what I'm saying? I do talk very fast. 
go watch Batman be filmed, it's happening today or tomorrow. By the way, right, the other day there, when Baby Metal were playing in Glasgow, when was this? Wednesday, right? We were walking from Trongate, at the top of Glasgow, to Badawans, which is still Trongate, and there was a man dressed as Superman, right? And how there's a camera crew and all that, and um, they were filming across the road and stuff, and the road was all blocked off and all that, and walking along, but it was just like a skinny dude dressed as, as Superman. He looked, he looked the part, but it was, it was not like anyone famous. And uh, we're walking along and all you hear was, excuse me, ma'am. And I've been trying to find out what the fuck that was all about, but I don't know what that was about. But yeah, I forget my point. Yeah, Batman. I never knew Batman was being filmed in Glasgow or Scotland, is it? Oh, I don't care. I think I stopped caring about Batman like a long time ago. I think the movies just got worse and worse. See, the more you remake Batman, the, the worse it becomes. Like, the movies are good, but like, just stop remaking it. Just stop. Leave it alone. It could be part of the movie. It could be part of the movie, Jeremy. You're very, very right. But it was no Wendy Famous, it was this wee guy. I don't know. But it seems like a weird quinky dink. So I believe that, that maybe it could be. Uh, I think Patterson will be good, Batman. Hmm. I don't know. Right, I'll, I'll level with these, right? This is, this is the levelling. I'm not a film kind of guy. <laughs> I, 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 I don't have enough patience to sit still long enough to not talk or fidget or just get up and leave. Um, so to sit and watch films and stuff, like I'll watch films I like. I like a lot of Marvel movies. I like all the Batman movies and stuff from before. See all like Tim Burton and stuff as well. All that kind of stuff. Uh, but new, see things being remade all the time, like Ghostbusters and all that kind of crap. No. I don't have, like, I've seen the original Ghostbusters, I don't need to see any of the Ghostbusters, that was fine. If you give me something else, I'll just get up and I'll walk away and I'll do the dishes or something. Do you know what I mean? So, I've not seen Twilight, but I've seen clips of Twilight and I've seen that Patterson gentleman. And he just, Disney strike me as somebody who enjoys his, 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 his uh, job. <laughs> I don't know. To be fair, Batman doesn't really have much facial expressions, so maybe he might be good at Batman. I don't know. I don't know. You know who you should ask? The Quartern. He'll, he'll tell you whether or not he'd be a good Batman because he seems to be in about his movies and whatnot. I'm not a movie kind of person. Marcus put the raid on the other day and I ran away. <laughs> I ran away. It's too much. Um, Scott is re-watching Batman. <laughs> Just rap seen this bit kicking about with a mask on and his wife Peter. Just running about. Um, I believe he will do well, yes, I. Well, there you go. You heard it here first. Jeremy thinks that he'll be a good Batman. He might well be. Jeremy seems good in, in bit things like that, but no. Uh, right, I'm going to open this. Sounds like there's sweeties in it. I just looked at Batman in Glasgow. Apparently they are shooting part of the movie in Glasgow, but the stunt doubles are involved. Maybe that's what I seen. Patterson gentlemen made those comment about there you go. Right, okay. I'm so tempted just to be like, ha! And like rip it open and fling it everywhere. Yeah, but I won't. But I okay. Right, so that's that's everything. Can you see? Right. Look at the 
first thing I go is two wee whales and it's key rings and they, they velcro next to each other like a wee magnet so that they, they're a wee couple back together again. That's nice. They're for your keys. By the way, in this stream they were talking about things to do in Glasgow, right? And apparently they're filming the Batman movie in Glasgow and I said, well, we went to Baby Metal and there was a man dressed as Batman but it's a Superman shoot and excuse me, ma'am. Aye. But it wasn't the guy who plays Superman, it was just a wee guy. And the cowboy. I'm just I was just a random wee guy. Yeah. Aye, but they're saying maybe it could be stunt doubles in that because they're filming Batman stuff. Maybe. 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 That's why I'm going to show you my YouTube key rings. That's good. Mm. I feel like you know, there's hundreds of stuff that goes upstairs, like the wedding and all that, and it's just to figure out where it's meant to go. Up your bum. Cheeky bitch. <gasps> Goodbye. Bye. So it's we look a wee couple and the wee key rings and then there's a magnet. I think that's cute. That's so nice. I'm so pleased. The reason I was showing Max is because one's gonna belong to him. So there you go. So we have that. I'm gonna go back. Jeremy! No! That was my mum voice, my very angry mum voice. It's far too much money. Reverse that payment. Thank you very much. Nope. 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 Too much. Um, being serious. Stern face. No. I mean, thank you, but reverse the payment, please. Too much. Tofil. Ten dollars. Happy birthday, you mad lass. Not much, but here you go. Have a good one. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. I actually just came here to open boxes. People keep giving me money. I don't really know what to do about it. Thank you very much. I really, really appreciate it. Um, think it in your in a MP3 player. What? Uh, do, 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 do. Ash plays. They are so cute. They are so cute. Also, never seen them anywhere before. Out of all the um, what you call them. Comic cons and stuff I've been to. I've never seen like a couple key rings before. It's very cute. I do enjoy. Oh no. Um would you or Marcus ever like to go to Japan? Um I don't know if I would like to go to Japan. I think I would like it while I was there. Um but I don't know about the travelling to Japan. It's a long time to travel. Um I know Marcus really wants to go to Japan, but I'm not a great traveller, but it's an experience though, isn't it? Like, so, I don't know, I think I would say I'd love it when I was there, but I don't know, I don't know. He would love to go though, Marcus would love to go. Um, do, 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 do. Daniel Waters, happy birthday, sweetheart. Have a nice day. Also, the jam video was brilliant. Thank you so much. Also, you stop as well, because you're just as bad as Kevin. But thank you so much. <laughs> I'm just sitting here clicking these back and forward. Wait, let's back, let's get another thing. Rolling the sleeves back up. Right. Mm -hmm. I spent many 16 hour flights to Asia. It's worth it, you think so? Do you know freaks me out though? It's going to Japan and then being like, what can I eat? Because everything's full of fish and eggs. You know what I mean? Right. Oh! That looks like wee sweets. Oh. And it's got a resealable bag, which makes me quite happy. <gasps> Bronson wants in. Smells like nothing. That's what it looks like. They look like they'd be like the most uncomfortable sweets to eat ever. Do you know what I mean? Like, look at that. Who in their right mind? Tastes like nothing. Yeah. 
and the literal pure sugar. Mmm. Not worth it. I mean, they don't even like dissolve or anything. It's kind of like... Because even sugar has a taste. But that's like... If rock was just made of sugar. But like tasteless sugar. I don't know. I don't know. Do not recommend. Cute idea though. And appreciate the receivable bag. But not for me. Not for me. Right. Want you? Um, this is a wee bit strange. I'm so used to your background music. Totally. Um, I love my background music. I had to actually get new background music because people kept being upset with me and being like really so like the same fucking song every fucking day but I love it I think it's great um, I don't think you can eat this I think this is I think it's like a pencil eraser you know I think I've got some of my nose I, I think it might be I'm just I'm just trying it out on my my um, really state of the art um, mouse mat wait I'll show you my mouse mat My mess mat got it from um, got it from Amazon. So obviously it's just cardboard. So I'm trying it out on that, but I think it is. I mean, if it's not, it's just plastic. But all right. Again with the mad pill boxes, man. It was always kawaii boxes that gave them, that gave me the pill boxes. They're so strange, They're so odd. Like unless I'm missing something, and in Japan people take like a ton of vitamins and all that, and they have to have them all separate. But I just don't understand the need for for your pill boxes, you know. I just feel like obviously there is going to be people who are very much like. That's perfect for me. I need that in my life. That's great. But I just feel like the majority of people who like this kind of stuff, like I can see the majority of people being like, oh, we cute couple wheels, yes. Can't see them being like, oh, yes, cute wee pillbox that'll be with for two weeks. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I get like bowls and stuff and spoons and I'm like, oh, that's cute. But I can use bowls and spoons, you know? I don't know. I don't know. Am I just being whingy? I think I might be being whingy. I'm going to scroll back in this chat. Again, for anyone that's new here, I stream on my phone and my computer's right in front of me and I have the stream open on mute so that I can read your comments better because I always miss them on my phone and I don't really want to miss them. Um, do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. They look like sea mines. Doom Dodger, they do look like sea mines. I agree. Tastes like sugar. Um, boop, boop, boop. It's the best background music. Do you not get a mouse mat from Comic Con a while ago? Did I? I don't know. I don't think so. Did I? Maybe I did. Remember, I went to Comic Con and then I did like a big haul and then I gave it all away, mind. But I don't think there was a mouse mat in it. I don't know. Oh, there you go, next comment. Oh, you gave them all away. But I don't think there was a mouse mat in there. Yeah, super milkshake, thank you so much. Jason Todd the Zombie Robin. <laughs> Jason Todd the Zombie Robin. That's a good name. Um, I need to know, does Dank really hide his bulge? What do you mean, does he really hide it? I need to know, does Dank really hide his bulge? What do you mean? <laughs> I don't know how to answer that. Does he have to hide it? I don't know. What I can say is that um, he makes no effort to do either. Just He just lives his life. Just puts his clothes on, kicks the boot, 
<laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't make any great efforts to, to do. Anything like that? I don't, I don't know. I don't really know how to answer you. But um, if you if you um, were to expand the question, but don't give me money. Just in the comments, just expand what you mean. Ask me in a different way so that I know how to answer. Because I don't really know how to answer that. When I was a kid, they made peppermint sticks that looked like cigarettes. We used to get candy cigarettes as well. They were like a wee packet. And I had the foil on it, so it looked like cigarettes for the war. And they were just like wee white sticks. But I don't think it tasted like anything. I think they were just like chalky sugar. And then they got, um, what do you call it? Chocolate ones. So it was like a chocolate stick wrapped in paper. And you used to eat the paper. I don't think you could eat the paper, but we did. But um, remember chocolate cigarettes? That's mental, isn't it? Uh, a lot of people might use those wee boxes for daily vitamins or that like you live in a place with very little daylight you need to take some stuff aye that's fair that is fair um war grammar um it says i don't i don't know what nok is but there's 219 of it <laughs> uh, for the sudank family thank you so much um i'm really sorry i don't know how much that is but whatever that is it's far too much anyway i but thank you so much i, I really appreciate that um I'm going to open more things. Yeah, I don't know what knock is. I'm so sorry. What are you? Melting sunshine. Is it like a hair cloth, perhaps? I don't know. I don't know. Oh. My dogs are crying. I'm going to let them in. I legit don't know what these are. Other than little plastic things. But like, they don't open. Oh wait, wait. Yo, I think they're pencil toppers, but I don't have a pencil. See, they've got a hole in them. So I think they're pencil toppers. Um, but maybe maybe there's a pencil in this box. There you go. There you go. So they gave us pencils. We have five 2B pencils. So let's open them so we can put our pencil toppers on them. A great idea. Oh, sugar. See that? Did you, did you all see that? I didn't swear. I held that back. Right. Just pencils. Not exciting. There you go. There you go. Focus. Yeah. Pencil toppers. So I've got three pencil toppers and five pencils. Smashing. Right. I've already looked in here now, so I'm just going to look. That's the box empty. Wow. Wow, wow. I have stickers. They look Sailor Moon-esque. Um, but it just says Jewelry Crown. And it's just fancy stickers. They look alright. It's not a kawaii box if you don't get stickers, you know what I'm saying? I found that I've not had kawaii boxes for so long. But... Um, they're the only ones you tend to get a lot of stickers in. And then we've got a pen with this like love heart thing full of glitter. And it's quite heavy. <laughs> and I imagine that being quite annoying as you're writing. I mean, just swinging about. Let's try it. So I'm going to write my name. No. Nah. You know, it's not that bad. There's a lot of tapping and stuff, but it doesn't swing about too much. So that's not bad. It's not bad. Right, so that was it. That was everything. So, we get the pen, five pencils, three pencil toppers, this guy, some pill boxes, a rubber, which it must be a rubber because we've got pencils. And these, I mean, these are definitely the style of the show. Um, 
is all right. That isn't bad. Let's have a wee look. Um, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, eraser, pencils, pill walks. Don't forget to show yourself some love too. Use this box, use this case to help you organise all those little capsules you take to keep your keep you healthy. It can also store your other small items like paper clips. Oh, okay. Alright, I can imagine if like you want to store like bits. Especially if you have beads or something or like jewellery, piercing jewellery or something. I suppose you could use it for other things. I didn't think of that. Okay. So I'm looking on here to see if there's any sort of like codes, but there's not really. There's one that's like invite your friends to enjoy their own box and I'll get a free box. But nah. Nah. But yeah, that's inside the leaflet. So that was exciting. That was fun. I think I might let my, my wee dogs in because they keep crying at the door. And I feel that sad for them. Right, let's have a wee look at this chat. Let them in. Um, happy birthday from Stephen James, thank you so much. And from Charm to Pedia, thank you so much. John Duncan Dank takes her to a nice steak dinner tonight. Quarter and shekels, no pressure, but we demand you produce a white child. Um, I don't eat meat. So that date sounds terrible. Also, I've just ate my weight in pasta, so I'd rather not. Um, where are we? Yes, the dog. Please, the pugs. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go get the doggos. One in, stop wedging. One in, baby. Yay. Yeah. I know. I know. You know what I mean? One then. One. You just, you just like breathing at me? You, yeah. They're both in, but no one's interested in getting a cuddle. You want a cuddle? You want a cuddle? You want a cuddle? No. No. Br Bronson just thinks I'm trying to steal his bone and um, Buddha's just excited to be here. Here. Yeah. Come on, see me. Come on, see me, my baby. Oh, there we go. There's Buddha. Just excited to be around. Hang in, my baby. Oh, he's knackered. You puffed out. Is it too warm? Is it? No, I know. I know, my babe. Are you jealous now? Are you jealous? Yes. Right. Um, where are we? Big Dave K. Hey Sue, how was your day? Keep up the positive vibes. Uh, my day's been great. I had lots of pasta. I went and seen my granny. Gave her some jam and a tea cosy. Um, it was great to see my dad. Had a good day. How's your day been? I hope you've had a great day. <laughs> oh, loudy pug noises. Aye, uh, lots and lots of noise now. Um, but you all asked for this, so... Okay, so, will we open another box? I, oh no, wait, what's this? Oh, it's that free gift thing that's not really a free gift. Mm, I was going to share it with you, but what? Right, so we've got two boxes. But one, which one would you like me to open? I don't know why that has a big A on it. Do you hear that? Sounds like Marcus gratitude. Right. Um, do you want me to open Doki Doki? Or do you want me to open Yumi Twins? Or Yum Yumi Twins? Yum 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 Yum. Let me know and I will I will I will do. Do you feel I may open both? May open both. I don't know. Oh no. Um greetings from the Netherlands, say hi to the count. Ortelius, I will. Thank you so much. Um, doki doki. Everyone's saying doki doki, and I'm alright with that because it's the biggest box. 
Bitte Signore. Hmm. Right. Where's my skizzers? My skiz. Then get there. There you are there. Also, um, let me know if there's anything that you want me to bake because how I tend to bake is I tend to think, what do I want to eat? <laughs> and then I'll bake that thing. Um, which may or may not make for great videos so if you want me to actually bake things like that are coherent like if you want me to do like a playlist that's all like doughs a playlist that's all cookies and cakes a playlist that's all like soups or something I don't know you know you keep in mind I'm a vegetarian so I can't make like ham hock soups or whatever um, or haggis you need to stop asking me to make haggis because I can't, I can't even make haggis. I can make a vegetarian haggis. Um, but let me know if you want me to do these things because you guys watch it. So I'd rather make things you want to watch than make things I just want to eat. Plus, I'm a fatty. I'll eat everything. Right. Uh, A Victoria sponge? Oh, Kevin, that's a bit. Victoria sponge is just like the American equivalent of a pound cake because it's just the same weight of everything that goes in. Um, I can make a Victoria sponge if you want. It's not that exciting, but I absolutely can. Also, if you want a live stream of pancakes on Tuesday, let me know because I am absolutely going to be making pancakes. Biodegradable, just when you say creme brulee there, um, I follow Julian Solomito, who is Jenna Marble's man, husband, I don't know, uh, man child. He just put up a thing making creme brulee, a video making creme brulee. It looks great, um, but his is vegan, so if you're not interested in that, but I might make one. Um, plus, I get to buy ramekins in. Anyway, right. Oh no! Right, okay, so there's a big, big ass toy by the feel it. Um, in my leaflet. So. What is this? Oh my god! It is. But it looks a bit like a bath mat. That's so fucking cool. It's either like a bath mat or just like a mat, but to me it feels like it's the ones you put outside the bath so when you come out you don't soak or slip. What? Oh, sorry, Bronson. I just cut Bronson with that. Oops. I'm sorry, my baby. Right. Fucking room's too wee. Definitely a bath mat. That's cool. That's really cool. I'm very excited about this. Um, Bronson! Give me this back. Plastic is not for you to lie on. They were quite finished, Branson. Bun and Dwarf. I like mango chutney, but I don't know if I'd eat the mango chutney. It may go to waste, but I'll consider making it. In the next couple of weeks, I will make mango chutney for you. Because you've asked me twice. <laughs> so I'll do it. I will do it. But yeah, that's cool. I enjoy that. I'm very pleased about this. I uh, half expect that box to be empty now, but yeah. Uh, right, I'm going to set this here if I can. Right. Pikachu and Eevee. Pikachu and Eevee, what though? 
Think it's a bowl, maybe? I don't know. <gasps> oh, oh, it looks, it reminds me of a Polly Pocket, so I'm instantly, instantly pleased. Look at that. Right. Oh, it's sugar. <gasps> oh, loud. That's so cool. That's fucking cracking. Hello. That is so good. I love that. That is great. I love it. I've ever heard about it. It's fantastic. I am so happy. How good is that? I could put my bits in there. I will put my bits in there. Right. My wee bits and bobs, you know, like my necklaces and rings and that. Right, what else is in here? This is great. Oh. I mean, if there's a mouse mat in here, that'd be great. What is this? Wall pockets? Fucking hell. Right, no. Stop. This stinks. This smells like, um, like a paddling pool. So when you get a paddle and pull out of like the packet and it's like just raw plastic. But it's cute though. So you hang it on your wall and then you put things in the pockets. So that's nice. I could use that in here. It's cute, isn't it? And there's my melody in that. Ah, lovely. Lovely. Right. Oh. Oh, I don't know about him. He does not seem happy. Who hurt you? Next. Oh. Seems so upset. I'm just gonna try and try to wipe his wee eyes up so that the fluff doesn't make him look angrier because he looks angry already with those eyebrows. But then see if you go with that. Oh. You got that, it looks raging. I mean, anyway, he's cute. Furious, but cute. Look at them cheeks. Boop, boop. He's nice. Hmm. Gotta get the brochure and see what he's all about. But I think that might be it. You know, on all the. And this. Wedding rings just flipped around. So, oh, it's a highlighter. It smells like nothing. Yeah, there you go, a wee highlighter. Right, that is definitely everything in that box, which is decent. Um, right, let's have a swatch. Um, well, do you know what this says? It's a mouse mat. Balakuma, friends, Kuguma, and the other thing I can't pronounce, I'm even going to try, are ready to make your home look and feel cuter this season. The soft texture is sure to make you feel fluffy and cosy each time you step on it. Alright, so it's not a mouse mat. Okay, so it's a mat. Um, this is... Puku, Puku Hoppy, Puku Hoppy, I don't know, um, these poshies are aptly named Puku Hoppy for their puffed up and ch chubby cheeks, their lovely cheeks are just so cute you can't resist pinching them, I mean that's true, I definitely pinched them, so they're right enough, that way they're mental, and then we've got a uh, highlighter, Wall organizer, blah 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 blah. That's exciting. That was decent. Again, I'm looking for any codes. There's check out our online store, use some code if you want to get like what looks like Japanese candy. So 
there's a code for the first person that wants to use it if they want to use to get five dollars off something he's batter in um, but other than that there's not much else on this leaflet like codes wise or anything um, but yeah that was decent I like this mat I love this and I like these wall things so yeah Exciting, exciting times, yeah. Right, I'm going to go back a wee bit and have a look at... Right, you stay there, angry man. Have a look at these, um... Comments. <laughs> Where are we? Show of Tuesday. Aye. I should probably not call it Pancake Tuesday, but yeah, Show, show of Tuesday. So, where are we? Jesus Fight Christ, happy birthday Sue. I'm still at work but wanted to say hi to everyone. Hello Jesus Fight Christ, have a great day at work. Um, I hope you are well and thank you very much for the birthday message. Um, I am very fidgety as I've already mentioned and I'm now sitting on my feet so apologies for that. Um, my girlfriend asks where she can get these surprise boxes. So the kawaii box, which is the first one I opened, if you just google like kawaii box it'll come up. Um, the Japan crate that I usually have with sweets and the Doki Doki box is japancrate.com I'm sure and Yumi Twins, just google Yumi Twins and it comes up as well. Actually see as well the boxes that I get that'll be the last Japan crate one that I get because I swapped it out for what is it called? There's a new one and it's all stationary so obviously I have to get that because that's I fucking love stationary. What is it called? It's called something, it's on the website anyway but it's new, I've never had it before and I love stationary so the next box I get from them will be a stationary box so I'll review that as well. So very exciting. So if you go on Japan Crate they've got tons of different boxes. I used to get Kira Kira from there as well. Um, so they've got loads. Um, do 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 do. I've got to go. Love you all. Um, Jules A and Graham S. Thank you so much for that happy birthday wishes. Um, <laughs> Clark Fint uh, fart in my mouth. Stevens. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, stationary, stationary, stationary. Um, it's going to really annoy me. I just need to check now. I need to check what that is because it's going to annoy me. The name of the box is Inku, I-N-K-U. They also have a uh, Gacha Gacha, which is those wee balls with toys inside. They have a uh, Yumi crate, which is noodles. Doki Doki in Japan. So, yeah. And... Kawaii Box. It's just kawaiibox.com. And I'm sure they just do this one box. They do, but I'm sure they've got a sister company that's sweets that I've had before. This Japanese candy box. That was really good. Um, that was really similar to the Japan crate box. Um, I can't remember what one I liked most. I know that the Japan candy crate box was nice though, but I think I had so many at the one time with Levi Clay that. Um, yeah, it was a bit much. But yeah, anyway, back to this. So I've got one more box to open. Should I just open it? Yeah, we should. It's my birthday after all. I feel like I deserve to open it. Um, have you tried your raspberry jam as cake center filling since it's your birthday? Um, I've not tried my jam. And anything other than toast but I was considering making Scottish fern cakes I don't know if you know what those are but they're like um you get big ones and you get wee ones right so like remember we bit this size and it's like a pastry case and then you have jam and then you've got frangipan and then you've got icing on top of that and the icing is usually white and it's got like a chocolate Firm on it, like it's like a just like wee lines that come out. 
you get them everywhere in Scotland, you usually get them in a four pack of like one of them, a raspberry um, tart, a pineapple tart and like something else. Um, so yeah, I was thinking about making them and using my jam, but I'm not sure. I was also considering making my own fruit winders, which is kind of like making jam, but you get it thicker and then spread it out and then cut it and then roll it. Um, but no, I've not ate my jam in a cake yet, but I'm considering it. Do, 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 do. Jake Jonah, someone sleepy. Me? Do you think I'm sleepy? Or put them Bronson because they're snoring? Where is Bronson? No, he's there. To be fair, actually, Bronson's awake. He just sounds like he's sleeping. Right. So, will we just open this other box? Thank you so much, by the way, to everyone that's came on here and wished me a happy birthday. There's like 80 people here, which is a, a big deal for me. So thank you, I appreciate that. Um, I hate my birthday. And since, like for the past like four years, I've had a birthday stream, usually on Marcus's channel. Um, and it genuinely helps me. It helps me like forget that it's my birthday and it forgets me forgets me? it makes me forget to be sad <laughs> does that make sense? like I'm not just sitting being like oh I hate my birthday it's so shy I'm actually sitting being like I'll talk to people and um, and I'll, I'll open boxes and I'll, I'll do all this stuff and it's very it's very distracting and you're all lovely and you come here and you see nice things and some of you see nasty things and that's okay too because you're all you're all welcome um, but yeah it's just really really nice to, to talk to you also um i've just opened this without even asking these so we'll say what in this i've got such a nose here what's going on um did you talk to josh paula about moonscape no i didn't i don't know who that is should i know who that is i'm really sorry i know marcus spoke to someone recently about moonscape the guy who went to jail to him? I don't know. Marcus spoke to that guy. Uh, aye. Anyway, I'm going to open this. Um, so, yeah. Um, same guy? Yeah. If that's the same guy, I definitely haven't spoken to him, but Marcus has. And I don't know how it went. I think it might have went well, but I didn't speak to him. Um, yeah. I recently cancelled my membership to Foodscape. So that'll be the first time I've cancelled it in like ten years, perhaps. I don't know. Um I love Foodscape. But the new update for the mining pissed me off. I'm not I, I do not enjoy. Mining was my thing. I, I love mining and they, they ruined it for me because they updated it, made it easier. No, I don't I don't enjoy the mining update. Anyway, so Happy birthday Sue from Texas, Danny Brendan. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Right, let's open this. Do I love Ken Allen? Who does not love Ken Allen? If you do not love Ken Allen, you need to rethink your life because Ken Allen is pure. So there you go. Top three mad lads, in my opinion, is Ken Allen, Top number one, number two, Keldoza. Number three. Don't know. Hmm. I went to Bob it. The man that cut off the, 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 the willy. Or Bob Ross. Bob Ross. Bob Ross. Bob Ross. Aye. Definitely Bob Ross. Mm. Ken Allen, Bob Ross, then Kildoza. Aye. In that order.
Mais. Yes! Mm. Et bien, Marcus Hall. Oh. Oh. <laughs> He is the, the good squish. Why has he got a zip in his back? Shut up. What's going on here? Why has he got a zip? There's like, is he like, there's like a hole in him? For what purpose? Pum pum pum. What's wrong with you? Right, I would believe it. I need, I need to know right now why he's got a hole in his back. Sanrio pouch plushies. This soft and squeezable range of plushies includes all your favourite Sanrio characters. A hand strap allows for easy attachment to your bag or purse for easy carrying. And a fastener in the back of each plushie opens up and can hold snacks, coins or any type of small gift. Please uh, place a heartfelt gift in the pouch for your loved one and it becomes a precious Valentine's Day present. I feel like that's a reach to make it a Valentine's Day box, you know what I mean? One of my dogs is far too terrible. But, so yeah, he is, he's a, a pouch plush. Um, am I getting Animal Crossing? Yes, yes I am. Am I buzzing about it? Absolutely. Marcus tried to buy me the new the Animal Crossing Switch and the game, but I was like, we already have a Switch. That's that's unnecessary. Um, but yeah, I'm getting the Switch and I'm buzzing. Buzz? No, Switch. I'm getting the game and I'm buzzing. Um, Palindromic Bob. Put this towards some cooking gloves. £10 on Amazon. Just search cooking gloves. Would have just peel boxed them, but you might already have some now. Um, £10. Thank you so much, Bob. I really, really appreciate that. Um, I do not have those gloves yet, but I am desperate for those wee gloves. The, the, the oven gloves with fingers. They just seem so handy. So I will, I will buy those. So thank you so much. Also, while I've been talking to you, um, a wee thread came away for his, his wee toes there. Um, so that's annoying. But yeah. Um, thank you so much, Bob. I really, really appreciate that. Are you the same Bob that sent me um, sent me my ring holder? Because if you are, stop. <laughs> You're just as worse bad as, as Daniel and Kevin. You sent me too much. Um, there's a hole in his hat. Don't enjoy. Right. <gasps> Guys, I think I've just got two of these. See if... My God! <sighs> Mate! I think I prefer this one because I prefer this colour. I don't prefer this colour, but it's got the Simiko Garashi guys on it. Oh! That's, that's exciting. That is, that, that is really good. I enjoy that. I enjoy that a lot. So let's compare. No, do you know what? I do, I do prefer the colour. Right, I'll give this one away. So I will. And I'll keep this one. I will, yeah, I'll give it away. I'll think of some sort of competition. I'll think of, um, what can I do? What can I do to run a competition on Twitter so I can give away a big box of stuff? Oh, do you know what I'll we'll do? Hold on. Oh, ow. Um, kept this box. I'm so happy I did. <laughs> so I got Hello Kitty's trainers because I'm an adult and um, it's huge. So I will fill this full of goodies and give it away to someone. I just need to think of a way to run a competition to, can you excuse me doggies, thank you, move me back into my seat. I think of a competition, I'll run it on Twitter and I'll fill that box with the stuff and it will include this because I don't need two jewellery boxes 
Right. Oh, I'm burning the work, I'm so sorry. Um, I just have like most people on Twitter. Um, I don't use Facebook for anything other than normie stuff with my like family and friends. Twitter has like 35,000 people following me, so I feel like I'll reach more people there. But you're on Discord, so I'll shove the competition in Discord somehow and check both if that helps. Um, yeah, that's the, only, that's the only solution I can think of is to put the competition on Twitter and then also run it on Discord and then maybe start like a separate channel. Or I don't know. I'll, fi I'll figure something out and we'll get the competition going. Chocolate, but chocolate what? See, this is a USB. I'm going to grab my heat. It's a pen. Sorry. Right. That's cute. That's a nice wee pen. Didn't expect that. Right. If you guys can think of a way for me to make a competition, please tell me in the comments because I'm not that creative. Um, let's have a look through these. Do on Instagram. My Instagram's only got like 2,000 people on it. I say only, it's tons. But um, I, don't, I feel like tons of people will miss it on Instagram. And I'm not clever enough to manage like the same thing on three different platforms um, because I'm a bit of a nugget. You can try. So you always remind me about the need for being grateful for the little things and that's why I send you the holder and the cash. I appreciate that Bob and it is, it's always good to remember stuff and, and, and be grateful and stuff but I am very grateful for everything that you've done for me, but you need to stop because I cannot repay. <laughs> if I could repay, I would, I can't. Um, so, but thank you. I honestly really appreciate it. I appreciate everyone saying happy birthday and doing everything they do for me. I'm very lucky and I'm very, very blessed. And I do not for a second, like, overlook that fact. Um, oh. I'm a mental health nurse and you and Dank's videos are part of my own self-care and that's worth more to me than anything. That's really, really nice. My mum and dad were both mental health nurses their whole life. Um, it is a really hard job to do. They worked in wards and stuff and um, they worked in a, a place called Hartwood, Hartwood Hospital and it was like, like one of the oldest asylums. It used to be an asylum and it there's no longer an asylum and stuff. Uh, it was a tough place for them to work and they carried a lot of that on their shoulders, which I think a lot of nurses and stuff do. So I've got a huge respect for nurses and especially mental health nurses. So keep doing good work. <laughs> um, Carol Wash won $10. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're also very kind. Right, I'm going to scroll down to see what else is happening. Um, biscuit decorating competition. Right, today's a day for truths. First truth is about movies. This is my second truth, guys. I'm going to get comfy for this truth because I'm so sorry. Right. I hate, <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, but I hate, um, I call her Biscuit Lady, right? I don't know who she is. I think Biscuit Lady is like a, a blanket term for these videos, right? But have you ever seen the baking videos and you don't see them making the biscuits, you don't see them baking the icing, you just see a square biscuit or a heart-shaped biscuit 
and it's just sitting there and then you see the tiny wee icing bag and the wee metal sticks and they start designing it and they make like, I don't know, portraits or really fancy ornate designs like, excuse me, like lace and stuff and they, just, and they, they speed it up so it looks like it takes two seconds but it doesn't, it takes all fucking day because it's royal icing and then they're smoothing it out with the wee sticks oh, I hate it, I hate it it's like, it's like my biggest pet peeve when it comes to baking videos I hate it because it must take that woman all day it must take that woman all day, or that man all day to bake those fucking biscuits fucking cool them down see by the time they've iced them all they're out of date, they went soggy, bin them no good, no good if you've decorated all that, then you've got, you've got to eat it or you're just going to leave it sit there Right, what's the point? Plus it's going to taste smiling because it's just chock full of coloured royal icing Honestly I understand there's a strange rant about biscuits, right? But Marcus has taunted me about this for years I cannot stand these biscuit people <laughs> It's a... Uh, it's just part of my personality and I can't help it I'm sorry. But today is the day of truths. I'm opening up and I'm telling you honestly, I can't stand it. <laughs> cake decorating, fine. See gattos, sponge cakes, birthday cakes, all that kind of stuff. Piping that shit, making flowers, dripping, big rosettes, all that kind of stuff. Love that. Oh, he's in the video call, he's ma'am. Um, all that stuff, I love that. I love watching baking videos and cooking videos and all those things and all the decorating and stuff like see the stuff to make it like chocolate sculptures and all that love that biscuits with royal icing no no not my gig can't stand it i don't know why i'm so sorry <laughs> um, i can't be but why why am i talking about this uh, oh i because lily 666d says biscuit decorating competition and i wouldn't put anyone through that uh, so I'm really really sorry that your comment made me go off in a rant It's not your problem, the problem is mine and I'm very sorry You and your, my wife uh, turn, had the same birthday, she turns 40 and we're going to a German place tonight Happy birthday to your wife Ryan, I hope she has a great birthday Why not run exclusive giveaways on separate sites that, that way if people want one thing over another, they can, unless it's too much shipping. Oop, you said multi-site would be too much. I just, I'm just not that clever. <laughs> See, I, would, I know that I would, I would do, I would have it on like every site and then go fuck, and I'd forget some, and I'd feel rotten, or I don't know. I'll think of it. I'll, I'll sit down tonight and I will create a plan on how to how to do it correctly. The other issue I have, right, is I do have an Instagram, right? I've got two Instagrams. I've got one that's just for Polly Pockets that I haven't updated for a long ass time, but I really, really will because there's like 56 Polly Pockets behind me in this cabinet. Um, so I do plan on updating that, right? I don't think there's a lot of followers on that. And then my other Instagram has maybe 2,200 followers on it. But a lot of them are like my, like, in real life friends or family mm. or people I used to work beside in like mm. KFC or something or like because yes I used to work in KFC but um the they're all like people that I know and a lot of them don't know that I do this um so if I was to run a competition on that a lot of them would be like what is this <laughs> like who are you and I feel like a lot of them would be like who do you think you are try to run competitions and that, like we don't care because a lot of people don't know that I have a YouTube channel or do videos and stuff I've only recently started uploading things that would imply that I have a channel Um that's why I don't advertise my Facebook anywhere because it's all just me retweeting my friends things nothing about my channel because no one on my Facebook I don't ever advertise it anywhere so that's why I don't really know about Instagram in the same breath why not do it on Instagram? I don't know. It's awkward. It's awkward and strange. You know what I mean? 
Because the other side of that is I have a Twitter, but mm -hmm. I don't ever advertise my Twitter on my Instagram or my Facebook because it's full of like people. You know, I think I think you might know what I'm trying to say. I'm not great with words, as you can tell. <laughs> One day, three to ten, you restore my faith in women. I hope to find someone like you one day. You're very nice indeed. Thank you so much. It's very kind of you. Um, I hope I hope you find happiness. I hope everyone finds happiness. Um, don't get me wrong. I might come across as very nice and stuff. It wasn't until I started doing YouTube channels and and and, and being on t Twitter and stuff where people say tell me that I was really wholesome and nice. I'd, I'd never heard that before, really, apart from one friend called Davy who told me that once. But, um, yeah, just... I think I think sometimes I can be a psycho as well, right enough, um, but just be nice to each other, and then everything will be fine. Um, Sin Bell, I love you. You're great. Um, thank you very much for the £5. And on New Year's Eve in Spain at midnight, it's tradition to eat grapes. One month, good luck for everyone eating. Thank you very much for the fact about Spain. I appreciate it. I appreciate the commitment that you have to constantly give me brand new information about Spain on every single video. For anyone in here right now who does not know about Sinbel, this person, on every video that I upload to YouTube, this video, this person goes into my comments and leaves a comment about Spain and I love it. It is like, actually, when I've uploaded a video, I look forward to reading all the comments and finding Sinbel's comment. I love it. I think the commitment to it is just second to none and it's great. So thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, where are we? Do, 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 do. Bloke I can't understand. I know I do mumble and I talk really fast and I'm Scottish so I'm very sorry <laughs> but I understand why you don't understand and I can only apologise <laughs> because slowing down and being more artic articulate you can tell is very difficult for me <laughs> so yeah sorry Okay. Um, I make decorating biscuits with my sprog. Mm -hmm. The thing is, though, right, like, decorating a biscuit's great. Decorating biscuits is fine. See, like, making biscuits for the Christmas tree and decorating them like snowmen and snowflakes mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. That's great. I love that. I just don't like these women or men who make the biscuits and then decorate them so ornately that it, I mean I'm watching it sped up and edited and it's taken me 15 minutes to watch this person decorate this biscuit which means they could probably do two free biscuits a day and that's just that's what really annoys me because it's just not um, sustainable or useful <laughs> But decorate normal biscuits normally is fine. No, I'm good with it. I like that. Fondant is nasty. It's like sweet toothpaste. I quite like fondant. <laughs> so I'm going to disagree with you. I'm so sorry. The word articulate said slowly in Scottish is hilarious. Articulate? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I suppose I can only hear it in my own accents. I don't know how it's hilarious, but if it's hilarious, then I'm glad I said it twice. Don't know why I can't understand Scottish English than normal English more often than not. You especially, so. Good. I'm glad. We still have this box to open. Right. There's other stuff in this box. I think there's only one thing. Oh, no, there's two. Oh, that's nice. Please the back up. Right, we have a wee writing um, set. I fucking love these. Oh, first swear, I think. Um, these are great. So, you get the paper. 
So one side it looks like that, the other side is like writing paper, and then you get the wee envelope. And then you get the wee stickers. I adore these wee packs. Like I absolutely love them. I got them before and then I, I wrote wee letters to all my, my patrons um, and I sent them all wee letters with these packs. I absolutely adore them. Um, so I'll write a wee letter for whoever wins the competition as well. I just think they're so cute. They're just so lovely. And I, again, see when you go to Comic Con and stuff, I never see these wee writing packs. Um, I remember being a kid and there would be like book club in, in, in school we had the catalogue and you could pick what you wanted and stuff and you take the right amount of money to school with you we you reform and then like fucking 10 weeks later you got like what you ordered because you forgot and there was always writing packs and I love it I love the cute wee matching envelopes and stuff it just it affects me you know love it Bernard Dwarf I don't know why you're saying thank you, but you're very welcome, and thank you too. <laughs> Apparently this thing is impossible in Scottish, okay, uh, burglar alarm? I don't know how that is impossible, burglar alarm? Hmm. Uh, I might have gotten across as whiny, but that was not my, forgot the English word. To do. I don't think you're whiny. I don't think anyone is, is whiny. Everyone's fine. Everyone's great. Um, Jojo, ten dollars. Happy birthday from Wisconsin. I too am covered with tattoos. Love cute things and baking. Thank you for all you do. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Um, I don't know. I know. I feel so overwhelmed. Every time someone gives me money, I'm always like, eh, I have no idea what to do. Thank you so much. I do. I really appreciate it. And then there's the pockets. Ten dollars. What's up, Sue? Hope hope you're having a good day. Thank you so much again. Um, I'm having a great day. So I'm um, fucking bright. I've opened tons of boxes. Partly I'm now swearing loads. Right. Um. This is the last thing. What is this? What even is that? Wait, hold on. Wait, that's definitely empty. Guys, I've never seen anything like this in my life. Never in my fucking life. Have I seen anything like this? What? <laughs> what is this? I know it says zipper bags, right? But no. No. It's offensive to my eyeballs. You know. How bad is your eyesight, Sue? Um, not that bad. Well, I mean, it's bad enough that I have glasses, um, but it's um, I have a astigmatism in both eyes, um, and I also have a thyroid issues, which affects my sight a wee bit, a tiny bit. But um, my like, look at these big bits of the thing. Um, I don't really know how to explain it. Like. Like, I could read something if it was, like, I don't know, let's have a swatch. Hi, so I can, I can read to your unboxing on Instagram, but then I can't, I can't see it here, you know? So, that bad? Does that, does that help? I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I get four of these bags, right? But, I've never seen a zip bag like this for my life, so it opens, like, here. I mean the hole's not very big but I've never ever seen a zip log back before. Blah, 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 blah. Try again. Never ever ever seen a zip lock bag like that before. And I have four. So that's pretty cool. Very strange. I think I'm thrown off with like how realistic it looks, you know? It's cool though, but they're like, they're offensive to my eyeballs a wee bit, but they're cool. So that was everything. So, I mean, that was exciting. I'm surrounded by cute things. 
Like I actually have so much nice things here. Uh, I've been trying to keep all the, the stuff to one side of me, but I, I failed to do that a little bit. So I'll move it all back over. But you can see all of, like this stuff here. Just loads of it. Pencils and stuff. That was great. That was loads of fun. And I've still got my Japan crate. Yeah, Japan crate over there. I'll open that. Um on a video. Also, the last two streams that I've done, I've left my like deodorant in the background, so that's great. Again, super professional. Fantastic Suzanne, well done. AK or FYI, sorry. Okay. FYI, my name is Suzanne. My actual name is Suzanne. That's why I just called myself Suzanne, in case you didn't know. Um, but I don't like being called Suzanne. It's very old fashioned, so I prefer Sue. Um, cereal snack bag. I suppose you could put cereal in it. If you put cookies in it, wouldn't it be small cookies? Handy for loose sweets from the old school sweet shops. Would be good for sweets. Huckabeast22, thank you so much. Um, their stash bags. <laughs> Say deodorant slowly. Deodorant? Deodorant? I don't, how much swore about I say it? <laughs> like, I feel like you're just here to, to mock my accent, sir. And I don't know if I appreciate it. <laughs> it's fine. To be fair, if you want to mock my accent, you're more than welcome. Um, I have a silly accent. I didn't know it was your birthday, but hey, happy birthday. Thanks, Pockets. Right, so I've opened three boxes. Um, I've been streaming for an hour and 22 minutes. So I would say you should call it a day. I think that's probably decent enough time. Um, surprisingly enough, 75 people are still here, so hello to you all. <laughs> I don't know why you're still here, but I appreciate that you are. Um, yeah. I don't really know. I'm gonna I'm gonna go and think about this this competition. So um I don't really know. Do you know what I could do? Rather than putting it on Twitter and rather than putting it on um anywhere else really I'll just keep it on YouTube. So what I'll do is, once this video closes, I will create a description and I'll create a comment and pin the top comment. And those two things will explain the competition. And to enter the competition, you just have to comment. And then I will use one of those websites that picks a random comment. That way, you can all enter it because you're already here, so you already know, then it's fair. So, there we go. I'll create some sort of competition, somehow, some way, shape or form. Put it in the description, put it in the top round comment, and I will aim to do that tonight. Cool. Happy with that? Is everyone okay with that? Let me know if that suits everyone, and I'll do that. Um, pockets $20, uh, well here's your birthday, here's your happy birthday money and by the way I love the accent, thanks very much, I appreciate that. Um, I think, I, I, I never really get any negative comments about my accent other than what are you saying, <laughs> which I'm fine with so um, yeah, I sit in my socks. My sock rubbing off at you. Um, have you watched Overlord yet? I highly recommend it, especially for an amazing person like you. Um, and happy birthday. I, I've never heard of Overlord. Is it a program or a movie? If you do that, then you could share the archive on Twitter for people to watch the stream. Helps with viewership, I guess. Could do. Um, yeah, I might do that. Or I might just keep it here and not tell anyone that it means that everyone's got a better chance. Don't know, we'll see what happens. Um, 
but yeah, I'm going to go, I think. And, um, yeah, I'm going to go. Yes, yes, I'm going to go. Right, thank you all so much for being here and coming to say happy birthday and watching me unbox things. And just generally, for always being here because it's always the same people um, that are in like my comments, that are in like my video streams and stuff like that. So I recognise the names all the time, so don't think that I'm not noticing. Um, I also have a Discord. Um, do you know what I'll do? Do you know what I'll do? Two seconds. Because if it's all the same people all the time, then why not just join the Discord? So, there's a Discord link in there for you all. If you want to join the Discord and chat and stuff. I've not been in it recently as much as I should be. I am planning on being in there more often. So yeah, join Discord, come and chat. I hope you all have a great night. Thank you again for the birthday wishes and yeah, I appreciate you all. I hope you have a great weekend and I love you all and I'll see you later. Goodbye. And I'm going to poke this screen for a bit until I know how to turn it off. What? Oh, no. Is that how you do it? Mmm. Mmm. No, there we go. Found it. I found it. Goodbye.